Hey guys, it's Riches, Mowers and Blowers. Psh. Hey, and we have this uh, weed whacker here. It's a TB80EC Troy built. I was driving down the road about 80, 90 miles per hour like I always do. And it's sitting on the side of the road. And I kept going. So, uh, long story short, Chainsaw Mark. You guys probably seen him in some of my videos, Chainsaw Mark. He actually stopped and picked this up, and it ended up over his house. Well, Chainsaw Mark ended up giving it to me. So the head, he said, doesn't spin. So if you're having this problem, the head's not spinning, then stay tuned. All right, let's get this thing started up and we'll show you what it's doing. head is not spinning at all and I don't know how old that gas is but it still starts up on it let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna take this off there is some screws right there all right so the only thing you're really gonna need is one of these a t20 and a t15 and we are going to be taking this off from the shaft. So I believe it's a T15. Now once we get this out of there, you should be able to twist this right off. Alright. Now there's a couple things that could happen. Uh, the end of this could break off. Which it looks like it's in there. And I don't see it broken. So it is a, like a square bit inside there. Grease packed up in here and inside that end so if you want to uh, save your hands a minute you can uh, put some gloves on so the the one size is there's two sizes one for one that holds it on to the shaft and then one that'll take this apart we can take this actually apart so let's kind of uh, zoom in here see if we can get a good shot of it So you can just lift that right off. Lots of grease in here. And uh, here are your gears that go inside there. So here, and separate your head. So sometimes this right here can wear out and not be square anymore. Or it would actually, the grease runs out and then you, uh, it binds up in there and then it breaks either. 
the bearing or it breaks the square bit off the end so I don't know which one this did if this is rounded in here and not spinning let's go get a rag and we'll clean that up so that'll pull right out Go ahead and see if that square is still square. And it looks to be still square. So, what is going on with this? Kind of looks like the gear is wore down. I can feel like burrs on it right there so I think the gears wore down on this one let's take a look at this one yeah I can see once I got that grease off of there I can actually see the chip missing out of the gear now unfortunately you can't buy new gears for this what you do is you buy this whole assembly with the trimmer head or without the trimmer head so that's how you have to buy it either buy it with the tr with a brand new trimmer head now this does come off so you can detach this here and keep your trimmer head and then just buy the the gear set on it but we're not going to do that because we have a bunch of old ones laying around and uh, we're going to go ahead and put on a whole new system right on this one. So here is one I found in my pile of stuff. Now this is a straight shaft, so you'll kind of need one that's curved the same way. And uh, as you can see, it's curved just about the same way. Now it's a little bigger. And it looks like it has this attached to it. And it already has a head on it. The gears are working. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, fit it on there. See how that goes. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some grease in here. I'm going to go ahead and put some grease on the end of that other one. So we'll have some. And it won't wear out. So I see we're going to have to remove the plate on there because this one already has one on it. And I'm not going to try to take all this off to keep that one on there. I guess I could, but I don't know. I think we can just pop that whole thing on there and be done with it. Take, this, take that other one off. We'll use it on another machine. That's coming off with just a Phillips screwdriver. And I did notice something up here I'll show you in a minute. So I'll take these two bolts that are holding that on there. Off and your shield will come right off. So if you ever break your shield and replace one, that's pretty much how you do it. Take off a couple screws, go get your new shield and put it right on. Now as I said, this one seems to be pop riveted on there. So that is not coming off unless you drill that out. So we'll think about it and see what I want to do. If I want to take this, because I'm going to need this bracket for another one. So uh, probably just drill that out, pop this off. I don't think you can pull it, just pull it off. Let's go ahead and fit it up here. Now, your square bit will go in there and just kind of you can spin this, you can spin this around to uh, get it inside there.
All right, so she goes down on there. Now all we have to do is tighten it up. So it's pretty easy to swap these out. So if you find one laying on the side of the road and yours broken, you can actually take and swap them out pretty easy. Uh, even the shaft. And then this is the one that holds it actually on to the shaft. So make sure you get that one in there good. So then I have to decide what I'm going to do with this thing. I'm going to have to drill that out, take that off. But uh, let's go ahead and try it out. Got all our parts and pieces from the old one here. We're going to save that in case if we need something later on down the line. Let's go ahead and get it started. back working. Let's go test it out. There we go, ready for action. Hey guys, so that's how you uh, just uh, easily fix the head that's not spinning around. Now, if you wanted to go on, say, Amazonian and or Fleabay, you can uh, get those that are made exactly for this. They're about $25. So I just saved me $25 by taking one off of the end of another weed whacker that didn't work. So, hey, this is Riches, Mowers and Blowers. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.